Hi everyone and welcome along and today's video is something very exciting I've got to review today because it's something I think it's going to be really handy and it's this, it's a top on thermal imaging camera so what kind of use is that going to have around the home? Well, quite a few I can tell you so because this is a heat sensing device of really accurate quality, it's really got very close temperature ranges of just plus or minus a couple of degrees out on temperature sensing but we don't need it that accurate for us plumbers and heating engineers now heating engineers I think this would be pretty invaluable because it literally just slips on the bottom of your phone and you get a thermal image now you can see the ramifications for this would be great for us plumbers because if we go in and we're trying to find pipes under the floor we can turn the heating on and locate them easily with this device it's got a five meter range on it which is quite a good distance so we can see under the floors when pipes are buried and see whether they're going this way or that way or whatever however they've run uh, we'll be able to see it without taking any floorboards up just by putting the heating on because then the pipes will be hot and we can see what's what but not only that the other good things as well are things like your radiators when you get rads that have cold spots on them uh, this would immediately image those colder spots on this device and show you where you had any sludge build up at all in the system to begin to see the great advantages of having something like this is it now it's not a cheap item it's something that's quite expensive it's, it's more for plumbers and heating engines I should think but if you really are serious about getting things uh, right around the home and trying to find where you've got drafts and leaks and what walls are cold and what ones are not whether you've got insulation in your walls or not how warm and how much temperature loss is in your loft and things like this a device like this uh, is really going to be handy to have and it's so easy to use as I'll show you in a second it just clips to the bottom of your phone now it only works with Android phones, not iOS, uh, and laptops and tablets it works with fine also. It has a lead to plug into those if you want to use one of those. But primarily it just plugs straight in the bottom of your Android phone. I'll show you mine as I say. And it's got lots and lots of high spec stuff on it which we'll, we'll go into. So let's have a look at the device first, shall we, out of the box. So I've taken it out of the box and here it is in a lovely hard case which is very nice and uh, it's zipped in there as you can see and we'll zip her out now and have a look at it. Here we have our device out of the boxes then and as you can see in our little case here nicely protected well padded around our little device here from top down and a little cleaning cloth here and the USB connector if you want to connect up a laptop or a tablet so once it's plugged in you get this little connection come up and you push OK OK there we go and that's it and this is the front page we'll go through these in a minute uh, you have to download the app it's very simple and straightforward Here's what you get on the phone then, this is the important page, the settings which is things like temperature correction, the units of temperature you want, so called diversion, the clear cache, firmware upgrades, language manual and automatic shutter on there. So anyway you're going to get thermal imaging, temperature monitoring and gallery and personal information. Now I'll set on the thermal imaging one so that you can see it's going to be looking back at me in all my thermal image glory oh look at that fantastic I don't look much better actually do I in red hmm. no. perhaps I better change that hat <laughs> right so there's lots of technical specs that are with this particular camera so what I'm going to do rather than reading them all out to you and boring you minus I'm just going to flip to the site that's selling it on Amazon and just let you have a look yourself and you can steal any information that you want.
the general main specifications of the machine then well it has to be its range five meters range which is really excellent isn't it that's that's a good distance and also the fact you don't need a battery now it takes its power source direct from your phone and it means it's quite handy to just stick it in, in the bottom of your phone and away you go now the other thing what is it that's really good too is is if you were taking measurements around the home you can store the details on the phone so really good for checking insulation in your walls to see how it's doing another good item you will see any instant change you make to something uh, like flushing out your radiators or whatever you would see the temperature difference straight away and also for balancing your radiators that good old chestnut isn't it uh, you'd be able to check the temperature of each rad directly with this device the heat in front of it and get them balanced even more finely than you could before because you could get a very accurate reading from each one and also if you've got one that actually isn't going uh, as I said before you can check for black sludge Generally, if you want your home checked right over for its heat retention and where you've got the drafts and where you haven't and how well your insulation is doing, if you need more in the loft, etc. This is a great device. It will tell you the temperatures very accurately what you're getting. So any improvement you make should be able to show up pretty well immediately using this device. And you'll know where to make the improvements in your homes. Right, so what I'm going to do now is put the central heating on and see how we get on for tracking the pipes and see how the radiators are doing, shall we? Nothing like a real true test. Well there you are, I've just turned the combi boiler on and you can see the heat is showing in there already as we start to heat up. I'm going to put these pipes down in a minute and see how they're doing see how the heat is doing in these pipes and you can see they're already that they're starting to warm up there they are there okay first radar the closest to the boiler is heating up now if I aim the thermal imaging camera at the radiator there you can see that that is the flow in because it's the hottest one if I aim the camera to the return on the other side you can see there's hardly any heat there at all yet because it's got to go around the system to return but it's kind of showing you straight away oh there's the flow pipe going into my radiator I'll hold it up this way now it's a bit easier to see the temperature readings as you can see say so there's the radiator it's very handy isn't it we can see exact temperatures on there being red and we can see the cooler parts down the bottom there as it tries to warm through but it has just been switched on let's say and that flow pipe there coming in so things are heated up nicely now look at the heat on that radiator there to take a look at my internal wall temperature now this is uh, my new build so it should be warmer than my old build because it's got thermalite block insulation wall between the inner and outer walls hey, this is an extension and looking at the outer walls you can see the difference in the temperature there can't we oh yes a useful piece of kit yes I believe it really is uh, what I can say, yes, it may be beyond some of your budget, but it might well save you a lot of money long term if you want to seriously get your heating sorted out, especially to the right temperatures. If you could get each radiator trimmed exactly, uh, that would be a bonus, wouldn't it? And also the fact you can locate pipes under the floor, I think, is a really, really good one. And obviously any black sludge places in your radiators where you've got cold spots they will show up immediately with this device and you would know that you need to take that rad off the wall and flush it out completely because it's been stopped 
by the black sludge from heating up properly. And also for air, even in a radiator, it would show, wouldn't it? Although you can feel just by putting your hand on that, or it's cold on the sort of part on the bottom air. But for those of you who really want to get right down to the nitty gritty with fine details and temperatures, this is a great device. And obviously, if I'm checking the insulation in your house, how cold the walls are, whether they're insulated or not, you'll soon find out with this and lots of other good tips, especially loft insulation too. You can see how much difference the loft insulation has made if you lay another layer down on top of what you got and then take a reading afterwards. So you take one before you put it down, then take another reading after because you can take readings and keep them on this thing and look at them later on. That's why I want to give you all the specs for the thing off the actual site because there's so much stuff on there that it can do it. Uh, it's quite incredible. So. For me, great device, so for your cells, maybe you think it's overkill, I don't know, um, but personally for plumbers and heating engineers, I would say an absolute muster, <laughs> a great tool, why didn't have these when I was doing plumbing, my dear 1967, there wasn't exactly much of this kind of thing about then, <laughs> yeah, okay, that's about it though, uh, all my stuff, usual place to go, you know where to go, Derek and 33, thanks for watching guys, bye bye.